Hey guys, it is tomato canning time. Project of the day. Mommy Tuppers. Tackling this. Mommy Tuppers. It's a mess. Mommy. We can't fit anything in here Mommy, hardly. So. It's making snow. Yes, it is. Mommy. All right, so I have my helpers. We're going to get this cleaned out and organized. done. Wait, Bob, Still no. just as full, but it's organized. I need to sauce these tomatoes and count them this week. Dog has a little more room. And then this is all of our blackberries. Did not know we had that many. And of all the strawberries, do not realize we had that many. So, lots of things need to be canned. That'll make some more room. That's one thing off the checklist. So you remember the other day when I was telling you about how Pepper keeps getting out of the yard and can't get back in and one of these days he's going to get himself into trouble? Yesterday was that day. This little dude got outside the fence again. I don't even know how. I really have no idea. Somehow he got outside the fence. Thankfully, I was out here in the garden, and I heard him screaming, and I ran over behind the barn there and found him desperately trying to get through back to our side, but of course there's chicken wire and he can't fit, and there were two dogs over there. I don't know that they, I would say they were attacking him. I think they were more curious, trying to figure out what he is. They were just like pawing at him and nipping at him, like, what are you? You make funny squeaky noises, you know? But, he got his little booty scratched up a little bit, and uh, so I put him in the garage. He was just bleeding just a little bit. I think more than anything, he was just kind of shook up, but I didn't want uh, the other chickens pecking on him because he was bleeding, so I put him in the garage last night, just to, you are ornery. You know that? You are ornery. But anyways, he's good now. No more bleeding or anything. So I'm taking him back to the coop. Now I'm not so sure he's going to stay though. And I'm not so sure about his personality. Hmm. He may be one that we need to watch for. Because he may not be so sweet as his daddy. Time will tell. Meanwhile, Salt has her own little trick. Wait for it. <laughs> she apparently thinks the grass is greener over here, which I guess literally it is, but yeah. Rather than eating the feed with everybody else, she immediately comes over here to check for goat grain, which is nothing but crumbs at this point in the morning. But... You can't convince her. 
Hey guys, it is tomato canning time. I had, you saw when I was organizing my freezer, I had a couple of bags of tomatoes in there freezing until I had enough to cook down into a sauce. Well, there is no room left in the freezer, so I'm gonna cook them down now. I think I have enough for a couple of cans worth at least. So, they've been here in the, uh, what do you call this, the sink. <laughs> thawing overnight. So now I'm just going to slip the peels off and put them into a big pot to get them cooking down. tomatoes are not frozen and you're using fresh then you'll want to blanch them in boiling water briefly and then put them under really cold water to kind of shock it and stop the cooking process and that'll also make the skin slip off easy for you. I'm trying something new this year I saw recently. With these skins, I am going to put them on here and dehydrate them. These trays are going to be a pain to clean afterwards. <laughs> but once they're dehydrated, I will be able to um, put them in a food processor and turn them into tomato powder for adding to soups, etc. whenever we need a nice tomato flavor. Melza, why are you being so ornery? Why are you eating me? Stop eating me. No, you're going to spill my coffee. No stealing no. coffee. Oh. I'm not sure why a goat would even look like that. Why that are you silly. on me? Oh my goodness, ever since I got out here, she won't leave me alone. Yeah, that's so mean. Now she's eating my hat. <laughs> no, that's my hat. Get off. Let's see if they. Oh! <laughs> These guys are crazy today. <laughs> a goat wearing a hat. I don't think she's a fan. <laughs> now she's gonna eat it. Don't let her eat my hat. Don't let her eat my hat. I guess it's the nice cooler weather, but oh, both of them are crazy frisky. Oh. Daisy's over by the little coop. She totally jumped in the koi pond a minute ago. That was pretty hilarious. I don't think she realized there was water in it. She's nibbly today. Good thing goats only have lower teeth in the front. Otherwise that would hurt. Not on me! <laughs> <laughs> not spill my coffee. Yeah. Ew, did you step in it? Ew. I need some. Farm life. Yeah, just run it off in the grass. It'll be aight. <laughs> this gate has been open for hours. 
and these apple yards just now realized it. <laughs> the beacons came out with Lucy. But the apple yards and Charlotte have been in here just like crying and whining because they wanted out, even though the gate was open. Ducks are kind of dumb, just saying. This one went back in and now she's lost. She, he, I don't know what it is. This duck, based on the baby peeps, I'm going to guess it's a boy. You were at the door. Did you forget to go out? Now you're all alone. You could hang out with white duck over there. No, you're just going to stand at the fence and cry. Okay. He's going to try to help her out. Lead her to the door. Yeah, anytime I try to help them out, they just go in circles. Because <laughs> they know that everyone is out the back fence, not over by the door. Why would I go by the door? That's not the right direction. Maybe just try to corner her and catch her. Instead of leading her to the door. Him. I don't know if it's a him or a her. Maybe going slower. Huh? Maybe go a little slower. Now she's just going to go in circles. <laughs> Giving up? Yeah. Alright, I'll get her. Hold my coffee. Hey! It's already done! Does not like being held. What? Is that the one with blue? Blood veins. Oh, yeah. You can see him. One of these. Oh, he's turned it. I don't know if you can see. He's getting blue tips on his wings. Okay, you ready to go see your friends? Run away! Run away! And that little cockerel still. <laughs> Hi, hi. <laughs> oh my goodness, you girls are so all over me today. Ugh. Crazy girls. Let's stand up to do this. Anyways, so I may have to start a new, what's the word, sequence? Tagline something. Segment. It's called a segment. For this guy, and we're gonna call it Pepper's Perils, I think. There he is. Because I tell you, if this chick makes it to adulthood, it'll be a miracle. Okay, I gotta stand up. This girl's a little too loving right now. Why are you pawing at my head? Okay, standing up. So, Pepper, over here. <sighs> he, let's see, how did it happen? When I was out my earlier and we were playing in the yard and everything, my son and I, uh, I told him that he could let the goats out to play, obviously, but I wasn't thinking, I didn't tell him that he needed to shut the gate after to keep Pepper in here and the goat side, because he can get in here, but he hasn't figured out how to get out. So this is like the one place that we can keep him secured. Why are you nibbling my ankle? So, yeah, salt and pepper got out. Salt's not a big deal. She kind of comes and goes, but pepper, yeah, it wasn't, it was no time before he had disappeared again. Right? See so if we can get over here so you can actually see him while I talk about him. So anyways, I looked around for him a little bit, but I was like, you know, I'm probably not gonna... Probably not gonna find him right now, so I'll just wait a while. And we were getting ready to... Hi. We were getting ready to sit down for dinner, and I decided really quick to come back out and check for him one more time. And he was not behind the barn. Like usual, he was over on the other side. I don't know if he was in the field, maybe? 
he started to come, he came over to the fence line when I was calling him. And so, this chicken, I'll show you. So he was over here-ish. And so I came over here to the gate and he saw me come out the gate and I left open like four inches, give or take, so that I thought, you know, I'll just kind of herd him this way and he can go in on his own, don't have to catch him, make life easier. Not this one. He literally went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then that little cockerel went out and he saw him walk out and he still went back and forth and back and forth past this door so many times like how kind of dumb can you be <laughs> like he would try to get on this side he'd try to get in then he'd go over there and try to get in on that side and he just kept walking past the opening every time eventually we got him in and so i was like okay great he's in evening he probably won't get out again no big deal so I'm fixing to go back in the house and I hear splashing I thought oh one of the ducks got in the quay pond over here it wasn't one of the ducks that stupid chick jumped in there and was like flapping to save his life because obviously chickens can't swim if I had gone in like immediately he'd have drowned <laughs> I tell you, the dogs, and then he still gets out. I guess he, he was smart enough to try the other fence this time, I guess. And then he jumps in the stupid quaid pound and tries to drown himself. Uh, the chick has got a death wish. Seriously. I, if he makes it to adulthood, it'll take an act of God. Because I, I tell you, he's trying to kill himself. <laughs> like, oh my. He's, he's something. I'm pretty sure he gives us more trouble than any of the chickens of the past. Even karate wasn't this much trouble. Yeah.